so welcome back to our channel. You're here with me, Sarit and Stevie K. Okay, today we're watching underwears and Indian dressing sense. Yeah. Arvind S.A. A, yeah, and it's a madrasi da. Um, it's a stand-up comedy, but um, we've never seen any of these, so we're just going to check this one out, see what it's like. This dressing sense is an oxymoron, and I'm a living example for it. I'll tell you why. Because you see, when I was small, my parents were so freaked out about children outgrowing things so quickly. So in second standard, they bought a four feet long uniform pant and shoved it all the way up to my nipples. <laughs> and then karma decided to fuck with me because I did not grow an inch taller up to 12 standards. <laughs> So I spent my entire school life walking around like a shady Malu auntie with a towel alone like this. <laughs> In fact, at one point of time, my father was contemplating seriously, why are we getting him a shirt? Pant itself is covering everything. <laughs> and then came college, where we were into this concept of low waist pants. Really, we were into it back in those days. So my pants from the top of my nipples <laughs> went to the edge of my buttocks. <laughs> my pants were a living testament to the movie Cliffhanger back in those days. I still don't know how they hung there. And we were in some ridiculous accessories back in those days called 6600 Nokia phone. You put that into your pant and you try doing low waist pants, I will bloody give you Bharat Ratna Award. <laughs> I used to do this every day to college and I went and asked my senior one day, I gathered the courage and I asked my senior, Anna, why are we doing this low waste pant? What is the theory? What is the tradition behind this? And he told me, oh, the tradition is very simple. Da. In some unfortunate circumstance, you have to bend down and pick an object from the floor that belongs to you. There will be a group of girls standing behind you who will have a look at the brand of the underwear that you are wearing and get so impressed that that night itself sex will happen with you. <laughs> every day? Sex will happen with you. <laughs> You will bend down to pick an object that belongs to you. <laughs> Group of girls will be standing behind you. Inga one ke mukuda namalge. Group of girls will be standing behind you, and they will have a look at the brand of the underwear, and they will be like, oh, Batman boxers, very sophisticated fellow. Oh, Simpson boxers, very humorous fellow. I am from Chennai. No girl is ever going to be like, oh, Bumbugar Jetty, very cultural. Fellow. Oh, Rupa Jetty, I must sleep with him today, definitely. <laughs> Who thinks like this? Huh? In fact, every time I'm on the verge of wearing an underwear, any underwear, on the verge of wearing an underwear, I always realize it raises a very existential question in my life, which is, you go to, go to your room and you'll see a pile of underwears lined up and you pick the underwear on top of that pile, right? And when you pick it up, you'll always have this question, which is, Macha, is this underwear washed or not? <laughs> If you're a bachelor, you will get this feeling completely. Because we have to know the problem we have. We face that the clothes will be lying all over our place. So fundamental question, is this underwear washed or not? This is where men and women fundamentally differ. Both of us will do the same thing up to a point. Which is both of us will first do the sniff test. <laughs> both of us will pick that underwear and take it straight to our nose. Both of us will smell it and realize it is not washed. One of us will put it into the washing machine while the other will turn it inside out and wear it back again. <laughs> because as far as men are concerned, used underwears are like old audio cassettes. There is always a side A, side B to it, okay? <laughs> is that what you do? No. Turn your underwear inside out? No. Yeah, mine are always clean. No, I know where all my underwear are in the drawer That's and they're always fresh and clean. That's because the fairy comes and like puts them away for you and washes them, doesn't she? Mm, of course. You know what? It's, these fairies, I tell you, I must be done something good in my last life because they they take care of me. They just on ke raat nu pata ni kidna to ke ja ke main drawer chhe rakhte nde te bas. How about you? Look at you. How about you? I mean, uh, um, what you call it? You have to do the sniff test and. I don't need to do the sniff test. So how do you know when they're clean and because stuff? Because. Like? Um, just like, you know, your underwear happened to go in the washing machine, mine got along with them. Oh, the fairies help you out as well? Yeah. Well, they're you they know, have fairies these days. And I have a lovely little tutu. Oh, I love these fairies. You guys need to have some fairies too. Bas kapde leke, to ke chal jande I'm just glad I never had to go through anything like that. You know what I mean? 
bachelor, butchler, plus. Is it just bachelors then you think that do it? No, probably single guys as well. <laughs> That's what I'm guessing. You know what I mean? But, but hey, my, I, I, I don't, you know what I mean? My box is quite, you know. Anyway. I'll Your boxes it. are what? No. Shut what? Down. Um, anyway, <laughs> do you bend thing? over? Hold on, do you bend over to see whether girls are checking your underwear out or not? Do I bend over to see if girls are checking my underwear well, that's out? Well, that's his theory, his friend's theory was the fact that if you wear labels or some nice underwear, you're gonna have the sex. Yeah, or well, if you don't wear underwear, then you still have the sex. Let's just hope you have a nice ass. <laughs> Because if you've got to bob the door to us, I don't think that's going to be <laughs> Well, happening. that isn't me, so I know that for a fact. Anyway, anyway, guys, let us know what you guys think. Make sure you click the like button, share it with people you know, and don't forget to subscribe to our channel, and we'll uh, see you on the next one. Take care. Bye. See you soon. Bye.